Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Micah and today's video is going to be a declutter video. I filmed an entire declutter series of 10 different parts and today we are doing one of those parts. I will be using this intro for every single one of these videos. So if you're thinking, hey, I think I've seen this video before, then stay tuned because it might very well be one of the declutters that I filmed. I just thought it would be easy to have one intro for every single one of these videos because the lowdown on these kind of videos and the disclaimer I have for this is pretty much the same for every single one of these. I went through my entire makeup collection. As I said, there are going to be 10 different parts and I just went through everything because it really needed a good clear out. As I'm talking, I will make sure to put in some before pictures because it was a right old mess. There were products everywhere on top of things and the drawers where I keep my makeup, which you can see behind me, are, were just like stuck to the rim. They were very heavy and I just knew it was time to declutter. Now, I don't get sent a whole lot of PR. Most of the makeup I own is stuff I pay with my own money. Um, and that's why when it comes to declutters, I'm not too savage. I know I need to get rid of stuff because some things are just old or broken or it didn't work for me or whatever the case might be why I'm getting rid of something. I did spend my own money on it, so it's not something that I feel like I, I'm not aiming to get rid of like 50% of all of my makeup or 70% or almost everything. I like having a good variety of drugstore and high end stuff. And it's just that I try a lot of makeup for my blog and for my YouTube channel. And sometimes it just gets to that point where you're like, uh, am I still using this? No, I'm not. And when you get to that point, it's just time to get rid of stuff. I will not be selling any of the makeup that I'm getting rid of because nine out of 10 times I've had it free for quite some time and I would not feel good selling it to anyone or passing it on to anyone I don't know personally. So I, by the time I'm filming this uh, intro, I have already passed on some of the stuff that you will be seeing decluttered in these videos. So it, even if you leave a comment saying, hey, can I have that? It may very well be that I no longer even have that product because I have already passed on a couple of bits to friends and family. So with that being said, let's just get to the declutter. Welcome to declutter number three. This is going to be all about lipsticks. This is all of the lip products I have. We've got lip balms. These are my bullet lipsticks. I've got some liquid lipsticks over here. I've got some glosses and like things like that over here. Some overflow as well. And these are like lip pencils and more overflow. So there's definitely quite a bit here that needs to go. This is definitely too much lip products for one person. Um, let's start with the uh, lip balms here because there's way more here than I could ever use up. I got these in a swap with uh, Stashy from Canada. These are by C.O. Bigelow and she said, you have to try these. I'm putting some in the swap. So I have yet to open these because I first want to use up the things that I have, but those are already three that I need to still use. Um, this is my favorite lip balm if I have a cold sore or very dry chapped lips. This is the medicated chapstick. I buy these from the US uh, every once in a while. If I go there, I tend to pick up a new one. I think I have a fresh one in here too. So I'll be keeping that. I'm also keeping the current lip balm that I'm using. This is the Burt's Bees Honey Lip Balm. This is my favorite like everyday lip balm. I think this is super nourishing and it's a very nice one. I like putting this on before uh, I apply the rest of my makeup and then I take it off to apply my lipstick. So that one I will use up until it's gone. This is the lip scrub I'm currently using. Uh, this is by Catrice. It looks gross, so I won't open it, but it's a good one. So I'm keeping that. I have a backup that, uh, of that from e.l.f. So I'll keep that too. And now we're getting into getting rid of territory. This is a Nux Rev, Rev de Miel. This is again a keeper. I'm sorry. Uh, I love this for the nighttime. But most of the stuff that's in here, old, old. Again, these look gross, so I won't open them. So those have to go. This uh, Puro B lip balm I wanted to try can go. This uh, volumizing lip balm by Catrice. Very nice product, but not my jam. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of these two EOS ones. I have one in peppermint and one in coconut, and I love those, but I know it's going to take me ages to use those up, so I'm going to get rid of these. Uh, these are, I think, the chocolate mint, and I can't remember what the scent was. It smells very sweet. I think it's like a strawberry one, which is not my favorite. And then I have quite a few of these, like, stick lip balms. Ah, here's my backup of the medicated one, keeping that. Burt's Bees, I love. This is a vanilla bean one, which I'm also going to keep. 
Um, I'm going to get rid of this Labello, which is Nivea. I'm going to get rid of the cherry. I'm going to get rid of the uh, strawberry. I'm going to get rid of the peppermint. These have all been opened and I've had these for so long. Uh, same goes for this watermelon lip smacker. I've just decided I'm over all the fruity, fruity stuff. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one, the Nivea Milk and Honey. Again, this is very old and I've used it. These are still brand new. This is a Baby Lips in doc Dr. Rescue. And this is the blue one. I don't know what scent this is. Um, but I quite like the baby lips that I had before, so I am keeping that. But I think I'm good when it comes to lip balm if I keep all of those. Then tackling this cubby over here. I am not a lip pencil kind of girl. I don't have that many. Um, but I think that the ones that I have, that I'll just keep them. I have a red one. I've got a couple of like vampier, darker shades. This Revolution one can go. I think I was. I think that was free with purchase. Sore is really nice. Uh, Staunchly Stylish is really nice. Very nice neutral, a little bit darker. Uh, I have Burgundy and I have Current. These go with some of the MAC lipsticks that I have. These are two by Charlotte Tilbury and Ma uh, Milani Spice. I'm going to get rid of Milani. because I've had it for like three years and never used it. But these, these I like. So I'm going to keep those. And then everything else actually that's in this cubby most of this, I think, has to go. This is a butter gloss lip gloss by NYX, which it's nice. It's a really nice lip gloss, but I don't like lip gloss, so that's going to go. This Essence one, is this one of the new matte formula? Velvet matte. Um, this is pretty nice shade, actually, but I don't like this packaging. It has this hourglass shape, so it's impossible to store. So I'm going to get rid of that. I have the blue and the green lipstick by Essence because I thought they would be fun for a look if I ever want to do something crazy. So I am keeping those. And then I have these two. These are actually quite old. So I think these should go, but they are still good to go. Like this lipstick still looks fine. This is by M -U -M -U D, so Makeup Designery. I was about to say M-U-A, but Makeup Designery. And this is in the shade Ladybug. This is such a great red, so I do want to keep that. And this one right here is by Lancome. This is a Rouge in Love, and this is such a fun shade. It looks like a purple, but it actually applies more like a pinky shade. So that is why I am going to keep that, because it's a unique shade to my collection. And then I have these three by Catrice. Oh boy. These were limited edition. I love this sparkly packaging. Look at that. It's stunning. And the one that I'm holding, which is called Eclectic Lilac, which is a metallic lipstick in a lilac. I didn't think I'd like this, but out of these three shades, this was my favorite. So I'll keep that, again, for something a bit more fun. I'm going to get rid of Bronzed Reflection. It's pretty, but I don't need it. And I'm also going to get rid of Precious Plum, which is like a deep burgundy shade. So... That is one cubby tackled. Shall we go into here? Yes, let's go into here. This cubby is supposed to be like lip gloss and glossy lips. I already said I don't like glosses. So the fact that I have so many glossy kind of lip products is quite exceptional, I have to say. Um, but yeah, this is just what I have. And some of these I like, some of them I don't. I'm definitely not going to keep a whole lot here. Um, let's just start with some things that... I think are very fun. This is the Essence Glitter Switch lip, Liquid Lipstick, which if you rub your lips together, it becomes glittery. And this is the Melted Chrome. The Melted Chrome I'm going to get rid of, but the Glitter Switch is so much fun. I want to keep that. I definitely have to make one of these cubbies like fun lip colors because I don't wear those a whole lot, of course. This is the Prisma Glaze Lip Gloss by Catrice, which is like, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it has a pinky purple shine to it not really special so getting rid of that this holo wow is supposed to be uh holographic by essence but i don't wear that get rid of this i bought to try for uh one of my catrice videos liked it but this is just not my jam so i'm going to get rid of that uh what's this oh these are this is, these are also fun lip colors these are the pure pigments lip lacquers by catrice these don't stay put which is why it's such a shame, but I'm going to keep the lavender and the navy because they are fun shades, but I'm going to get rid of the pink. 
And because I was so smitten by that blue Catrice lipstick, I wanted to find something that didn't transfer, and then I found this Strictly Vinyl Lip Gloss by NYX, and this is that Catrice shade, but actually a little bit better. So now that I'm thinking about it, I'll keep the Lavender Catrice and get rid of the navy one, because I like the navy one by NYX better. Uh, this is the Volumizing Lip Booster by Catrice. Again, this can go... I buy these things to try in my videos, and then I never wear them, but I know that a lot of people like these products, which is why I want to try them out and showcase them on my channel, but I hardly ever use them. The Color Boost uh, Vinylicious Liquid Lipstick. This is not a liquid lipstick essence, so getting rid of that because it doesn't stay put. Um, I have the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Beige. This is one of those cult classics, and that's why I got it. But I don't wear this. What's this? Oh, this is a Hema Lip Lacquer in Orange Red. I haven't worn this ever since I got these. So that can go... This is the Million Styles Lip Topper by Catrice. This is supposed to give shine after you've already applied a lipstick, but I don't use that. And then here we have the high-end stuff. Ooh, this is going to be tough. I've got some Dior... And I've got some Chanel. The Chanel one, very pretty, but I'm not going to keep it in my collection anymore. I actually want to make a little area in my makeup room slash office where I display some of my prettier, more expensive lipsticks. I already have a few, and I think this will go very nicely with it because it's nice and sparkly. So I'm keeping it, but I'm going to move it out of my main collection. This is the only one out of these that I truly want to keep. This is a Dior lip gloss in the shade... 154. This was a limited edition, and this is the only lip gloss that I can feel top of every single lipstick that you have if you want to add shine. So that I'm keeping. And then these two. I have the matching lipstick for this pink one. Again, it's super pretty and sparkly, so maybe, and I love the packaging of this, which is mainly why I got it, to be quite honest. But yeah, maybe I should just stop using these and again put them on display somewhere because look at that. That's so pretty. Like, I love that. So I'm just going to have to put those on display. So keeping them for now, but out of all of my lip gloss, the only thing that's staying in my collection is like this and this. <laughs> Let's talk about this cubby. I already, like, when I, when I, whenever these cubbies get a little bit full, I already pull some things out that I know that when I do with declutter, I want to get rid of. And that's what this one is. Um, these are all lipsticks that are on the chopping block, you could say. Starting with... Oops. Starting with these four Rimmel lipsticks. Uh, these I didn't like. These are liquid lipsticks. They do stay put, but they were a nightmare to apply. They are very sort of... Um, what do you call it? Very flaky, so you can't really get a neat line. And with the red and the blue, that's just atrocious. I have two of these Metal Shock lip paints by Essence. These are, were quite nice, but they don't stay put, and they have a very weird sort of like sour candy smell to it, which I'm not a fan of, so I'm going to get rid of those, even though they're fun shades. I have two of these NYX lip lingeries. Again, not my favorite. So uh, these are going to go. Oh, uh, I see here that I have a NYX lid lingerie. I was wondering where that had gone. Uh, this is not my shade. Getting rid of that. And then this is such a shame because, again, in that swap that I did with uh, the Canadian lady, she got me a bunch of really nice lipsticks, but most of these actually didn't work for me. These are either too waxy, they have a weird application, they don't stay put, they travel everywhere, or they bleed. So I tried all of them by now, and these were the ones I didn't like. So I figured rather than hanging on to them because I got them, I should just declutter these. And then we have this shiny lipstick by Catrice, Color Up Shine On. Uh, I don't like shiny lipstick, so I, again, got this to try for my video. Didn't like it all that much. And then I have a Maybelline lipstick. I really like Maybelline lipstick, so I'm not sure what this is doing here. I think because it's it's the shade. It's uh, It's called Burgundy Blush. It is a nice dark shade, though, so I think I want to see if I can put it anywhere in here, because all of my other Maybelline lipsticks are in there. And then that's that cubby empty. So these are all of my pencil-shaped, like, lipsticks, you could say. And some of these I really like, but some of these I am a little bit over. So uh, let's just see. I really am enjoying 
these HD lipsticks by Revlon. So I'm keeping those. Um, let me see. I also really liked a couple of these Essence things that I have in here. Oh, the Catrice ones. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, these ones. Yes. Yeah. So these Catrice, these are the Matte Lover lipstick pens. And they have a very nice precise applicator. I have this in the shade Tomato Red. Is Fab, Unexpected Mauve, and So Bordeaux. These are really nice, so I want to keep those. I think I'm going to get rid of these Maybelline ones. These have had they, these have seen the best of their days, so I'm getting rid of that. This Velvet Lipstick, Velvet Stick Matte Lip Color in the shade Mega Melon by Essence. I've never really used this all that much. In fact. Can you see that? I've only swatched it, so that needs to go. If I haven't used it by now, it needs to go. This is the Lip Dresser Shine Stilo by uh, Catrice in I Carry the Watermelon. Now, I said I don't like uh, shiny lipsticks, but I happily make an exception for this. This is a very nicely like, juicy, as it said, watermelon color. So this is really nice, so I'll keep that. Um, I also... I'm getting rid of this Lights of Orient uh, matte lipstick because I don't use it. This is another, oh, this is a NARS one, which I've never used. You know that? I know that some, some people go gaga for these NARS minis, but I didn't really, I didn't think they were all that special. And this lid just kind of pops off. Nope, not going to keep that. I am going to keep... The Soft Matte Lip Balms by Hema. The, this is a Dutch brand, and um, I think I am going to get rid of the dark one, um, and maybe this neutral shade too. Maybe I'll just keep the bright one, because that's the only one I really wear. I'll keep the bright one, get rid of the other two. We're being pretty cutthroat here. Um, this ColourPop Lippy Sticks, uh, this is the Matte X formula, so super matte. This is in the shade Trust Me. This is such a stunning red shade. I love this. So I'm keeping that, um, but I'm not going to keep Tootsie. This is a regular matte formula, and this is actually a little bit too light for me. Let me see if I can show you this. It's uh, it's nice, but not my favorite, so I will get rid of that. Um, this is an Essence. This is me nude lipstick in Retro Macaroon. This is actually, again, also that really nice teardrop. It, it's a nice one, so I'll keep that. Um, this Catrice lipstick, um, no, that's what the sticker fell off of. I had a spare sticker somewhere, so it belongs to this. I'm going to get rid of that. This is nice, but I prefer the other ones better, and those are newer as well. These e.l.f. ones, I know a lot of people love these, but I prefer the Catrice ones, I have to say. Um, but I do like Hot Commodity, that's a nice coral. I don't have too many coral shades in my collection. So I'll keep that, and I think I'll keep Tea Rose as well, because it's a unique shade, but I'll get rid of Scarlet Night, which is like a dark berry, and I'm going to keep this. <laughs> this is the Maybelline Color, Color Blur in, I'm not sure what the shade is anymore, but it's a really, really cool magenta shade, and I love that. I have liquid lipsticks right here in the back. Uh, let me move this a little bit more. Um, and again, some of these just need to go. Some of these I love, but I don't, I like the formula, but then I don't love the shade or I have something very similar or anything like that. So let's just <laughs> get through these. I think the cubby that I can get rid of the most is actually this one. So let me move this a little bit more up front. I can already see these NYX liquid suede lipsticks. I want to love these. I really, really do, but I don't really like this formula. It doesn't stay put, and if I wear a liquid lip, I want it st to stay put, so that's gonna go. Also gonna go is this Cosmic Metals one. It looks very green on me rather than blue, so it looks a bit crazy. Um, contrary to what you might think, I am keeping this, but again, I need to make that cubby with fun lipstick shades because this is a Smitten Lip Mousse in Bellatrix by LA Splash. It's like an indigo purpley shade. Uh, another one of the NYX, NYX liquid suede's. Gotta go. Oops. Chop. I'm... 
These ones by NYX I am going to keep. These are the soft matte lip creams. I love these. This is when I was trying to find a good blue. I tried this one by Makeup Revolution Pro. Very sheer, not worth it. Um, these other two by LA uh, Splash I'm going to get rid of. I don't like these shades or I have something very similar in better formulas. I am keeping OG Ghoulish. This is a very strange shade to like, but I quite like this on me. These are the Hey Ma Matte Lip Creams, and I do like these, uh, but they are just a little bit old by now, so I need to get rid, rid of them. And then I have a mini ColourPop one that I like, so I'll keep that. But I'm getting rid of the TARDIS one. This was the birthday gift at Sephora last year. I don't care for that shade. And this is an Amore Matte Liquid Lipstick by Milani. I don't like this formula. I prefer the limited edition metal ones that they did, and... I don't like I don't like this because it doesn't dry down. In here, this is this is where we start getting into like favorites territory. As you can see, a lot of these <laughs> lipsticks look quite the same because I just love these. I really like these by the balm. Uh, so I'm keeping both of these. I have a neutral and a, a matte, uh, a neutral and a red, I should say. These are in the shades Devoted and Charming. Love those. Keeping. Um I know not everybody likes them, but I really like the Anastasia liquid lipsticks. And as you can see, they do a blue. So when I found this blue, I was very happy. I'm going to keep all of these. I have, let me see, Veronica, Karina, Dusty Rose, Heathers, and Nocturnal. Right here at the front, we have some of those Milani metallic formula that I really like, that I said that I really like. But I don't like all of these shades. My favorite one is this one. This is Automatic Touch, which is, which is like a purpley pink. So I'll keep that. Um, I also really like this. And you might not expect it because it's a very light nudie shade. This is Chromatic Addict. But I like pairing this with some of my darker liquid lipsticks to do a bit of an ombre lip. Oops, that fell over. And then out of these three... I'm not sure... Uh, Dramatic Diva is it the bright one. Cinematic Kiss is like more of a neutral pink. And then we have Matterly in Love, which is like a reddishy coral shade, which looks nice. But to be quite honest, the only one I really use is this. So I think I'll just get rid of these three because I don't use them enough. And then I have ColourPop, which is like one of my favorite formulas, whether it's the Ultra Satin or the Ultra Matte. I don't use liquid lipstick all that much anymore, though, but I think I want to keep all of these. This is one of my favorites. This is Tool, which has separated a bit, but I'm pretty sure that if you, like, yeah, then it's okay. You can swish this up again. So this is an ultra matte in Tool. That one I really like. I really like uh, Two Lips. This is the one that I really like to pair with that chromatic shade from Milani. This is in the shade Echo Park, really nice neutral. I really like some brights too. This is Mars. And this is Hutch. This is a little bit dark though, but I have an issue with a lot of dark matte lipstick, liquid lipsticks, that they kind of show a bit of a line, and this one doesn't do it, so I want to keep it for that reason. Viper is a very nice mauve neutral. I have a red here. This is Avenue, which I like too. And I have Femme and Dopey. Femme is, again, a little bit more purpley, and Dopey is a bit more neutral, keeping all of those. And then on to my ultimate, ultimate favorite, you could say. We have some Ofra here. Um, I know I want to keep Charmed and Santa Anna. Oops. I know I want to keep these two. This is Charmed and this is Santa Anna, but this is Manhattan, which is like a little bit more of a darker shade compared to Santa Anna, but these two are too similar, so I'll get rid of that. But I'll keep these two. And then I have all of my Kat Von D. And I really like this formula. It's just that these like darker shades have that ring around my mouth kind of effect. So I want to get rid of Vampira because it does that. And I want to get rid of Nosferatu because, again, that does that too. And I do have that red from ColourPop that I'm keeping. All the other ones here I have... Double Dare, Lolita, Lovesick, Agogo, Bauhaus, and Beloved. Those I want to keep.
the Maybelline lip <laughs> liquid lipsticks. I have quite a few, but again, some of these can go. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Loyalist. This is far too far too light for me. I'm sorry that the sun is like coming in really sharply, is it not? Yeah. I was hoping if I'd film here that the sun wouldn't be such an issue. I'm also getting rid of this really dark shade, I think. But this I was able to make work. It doesn't pull into a line as much as everything else. So I think I'll keep these. So I have Ruler, Escapist, Romantic, really nice bright shade. I have, oops, I have Heroine, I have Visionary, I have Lover, and I have Pioneer. So those are all really nice uh, liquid lipsticks right there. So keeping those. And then we need to tackle this. Now there's a couple of new things in here that I just got. So I'm going to keep these Soeva pencils because I haven't tried these yet. So need to still try those. Other stuff that I still need to try are these new H&M uh, lipsticks. These are the cream lipsticks. I heard Angelica Newquist raving about these, so I decided to order a couple. However, the shade I really wanted was out of stock. But still, I got a purple and a nude and a red. So we'll see how I get along with those. These two like liquidy, velvety things by Catrice didn't do much. These didn't stay put. In fact, I could barely apply these to my lips. That was interesting. Um, this Essence lipstick is another one of those shine things. Didn't like it. Very sheer. And this is a vibrant shock. This also barely stayed on my lips when I applied it. Um, these three are the lipsticks that I got in that Canada swap and really, really liked. I have a Quo lipstick here in Date Night. And I have two Lee's What Che lipsticks, which is a high-end Canadian brand known for their lipsticks. So these I really like. And then we get to my main lipstick collection. You can see probably high-end drugstore, and I can definitely get rid of some of these things. Um, let's just get through it. There's, I know that there are going to be a couple of brands where I'm not going to get anything rid of. I'm not going to rid of any of my Bite, any of my Urban Decay, and I'm not going to get rid, rid, rid of any of my uh, Charlotte Tilbury ones, because those I really love. MAC, there is one I know I can get rid of, which is Pink Plaid. I never use this anymore, and this is very old. It's a very nice, sort of light pinky shade, but I don't use this anymore. So this needs to go back to MAC. These Chanel and Dior lipsticks, again, I never use these. There's one by Catrice, uh, by, by Catrice, by Chanel, this one. This is Coromandel. This is the only one I still use around the holiday sometimes. So I do want to keep that in my actual everyday like lipstick collection but all the other ones and now things are gonna fall over i know that um this is l'eclatante this packaging is really really stunning with like the pressing bit but this bright pink it's just too light for me so that's not gonna happen um let's just take these out these are the dior addict lipsticks this i think is a different rendition these sort of pull out and these, again, look really, really stunning in the packaging. I have like a red and a pink, but again, I'm just going to keep those on display, I think. And then I have, then I have these like regular tube lipsticks by uh, Chanel and Dior. Uh, this is Le Baget, and I, I wore this quite a bit, actually, but I never used that shade, so I'm going to get rid of that. This I can get rid of. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hey, I just ruined a lipstick. How did I do that? Um, so this is broken, <laughs> um, but this is one of the very first lipsticks I ever bought, like high-end. So I definitely have to keep this, but it's a shade I no longer wear. And the same goes actually for these two Dior lipsticks. I already have one of these Dior lipsticks on display, so I don't need to keep these. Uh, one of these is a shimmering red, and I have something similar now in an Urban Decay lipstick that I like better. And this one is a little bit more unique. It's a pink with shimmer, but I don't wear shimmer. So getting rid of those, and then, as I mentioned, these I'm going to not touch. I like my NARS, I like my YSLs, and I like these two Estee Lauder ones. I'm sort of umming and ahhing about this, because this is this is by Illamasqua. And Illamasqua matte lipsticks are some of the, it's one of the worst feeling formulas when you apply it, but this shade, I have nothing like it in my collection. So I'll hang on to it for now. 
Let me see. I have all of my Maybelline here. Hot Plum Fuchsia Flash. These are very similar though. And I like Hot Plum a little bit better than Fuchsia Flash. And I've got some like brighter shades here as well. So I'll get rid of that. Keep Hot Plum. And that means that I now have space for Burgundy Blush, which is the one that I got rid of. And I have Midnight Merlot, and then I have Copper Rose, which is a metallic. Yeah, this I do like. So I'm going to keep that. And then I have two Milani ones here. These are both going to stay nice nude and a very nice bright pink. Another reason why I didn't have to keep that Maybelline one, because I prefer that one. Um, this is a L'Oreal one. Let me switch this around a little bit here. And this L'Oreal one is a really nice red from one of their like celebrity lines that they do very often. And then these are all of my Catrice ones. I'm going to keep especially this red matte, but some of these I think can go, because I don't use all of these. Let me see what this, this is that nice taupey shade, so I want to keep that. And this is like a plummy shade. Yeah, I think I want to keep those three, but I'm gonna, going to get rid of the pink. Yeah, this, um, this I haven't used much, so I'll keep, I'll get rid of that, but I'll keep the other three. And I'm also going to get rid of this one. This is on the pink side of life, and this is a little bit too light for me, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then I think I'm going to keep the rest, because those are all unique shades. Plum Fiction, Legendary, Oh Juicy is a Night Bright, Orange, Nice Red, Hot and Spicy. Yep, yep, I'm happy with this. This is a really nice neutral shade, by the way. My Little Peony, another reason why I can get rid of that other nude. And then I think I'm going to keep my Ultimate Stay ones, because I like those. Then here we have some Essence. And I don't use these a whole lot. I actually forget that I have them. But this is a really nice neutral. What's this called again? Perfect Match. Yep. And I prefer this tube formula. This is a really nice bright shade. Keeping that. And then I have this one, which is more of like a taupey shade, keeping that. And I am going to keep this? No, I've never used that. So I'm going to keep all of the matte ones, but this Ultra Last formula I'm going to get rid of. And then we have this left. I'm going to get rid of both of my NYX lipsticks. The T Rose one I never ever use, so I can get rid of that and it's old. And this, what's this shade again? This is in the shade Wine and Dine from the High Voltage line, but as you can see, the lid doesn't stay on, so that's why that has to go. And of these Rimmel ones, I'm going to get rid of the red, because I like the Catrice red that I have a lot better than this one. So I'm going to get rid of that, but I'm going to keep 107, and I'm going to keep 45. These are really nice. This is a really nice nude. And I don't have that many drugstore nudes, so, but I'm going to get rid of this because uh, this doesn't even twist up very well anymore. So I'm going to get rid of this newer formula. The other ones I'm going to keep. And then Topshop. I have a, quite a few Topshop shades and I like these, but I don't wear them enough. I have two sort of like brownie shade, Boardroom and Mink. It used to be all about these, but I hardly ever wear these anymore. Um, this is Boardroom and this is Mink. These are, these are just too brown for me, so I can get rid of those. And then, do I like Confession? That's a coral, but as you can see, this has barely been used, so I can get rid of Confession. One of my favorite reds, ooh, that's falling over. I knew that would happen, is this. This is Rio Rio, so I'll keep that. I'll keep armor. This is a rose gold shimmer, or shall I not? Now I'll get rid of it. I already have kept other shimmery ones that I also don't use a lot. This is Wicked, which is a nice dark vampy shade, so I'll keep that. And then I have Macaroon, which is like a nice pale peachy shade, which I don't have a lot of because I don't think it's very flattering on me. So that's everything I'm keeping. This whole bit here are all of the lip products that I'm going to get rid of. That's 94 lips, lip products that I'm getting rid of. Holy moly, that's a lot.
Uh, if you really enjoyed this video, then uh, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, I would appreciate it if you could thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel. I have more declutters coming your way. And I will leave a playlist in the link below so that you can see the rest of my declutters in a nice little playlist. So thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!